This is a post somebody had made up on the EV blog site. This is a member named Mac Meter. And he says, Hey Joe, using my Bryman BM235 with included temp probe, I attempted to measure the soldering tip temps of my new TS100 iron, but see much lower temps than the iron is showing in the minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit or larger range, as well as the temps jumping and inconsistencies. He says, I thought about getting a knockoff Haco solder tip meter and found a review online by Clive who basically verified what I was seeing and felt that the DMM's thermocouple temp accessory was not able to do these measurements accurately. Can this be due to me and Clive perhaps trying to measure small tips with less mass? Seems in your video here you're not having any problems measuring the tip temperatures with a thermocouple. Is there a proper technique or trick to doing it with accurate results? Thanks. So he was referring to a video that I made some time ago I was using the Bryman and a couple other meters with various thermocouples and I was mixing and matching them and one of the things I had used as a heat source was a soldering iron. So I told him basically I had not measured the actual tip temperature. So I went ahead and made a couple of short videos for him. So for this video I tied those two videos together and I'm going to go ahead and make those public. I featured one of these things before. It's a tip temperature um, measuring device for soldering irons. Uh, it's basically the two dissimilar metals and then this little crimp just crushed onto them. Um, and if, I, if you try using a different thermocouple, if you try using something like um, this, just a common cheap eBay Type K thermocouple, and you put the soldier iron end of this, the lead or tin or whatever uh, soldier you're using seems to interact with the operation of the thermocouple and you end up with erroneous readings. It, it, well, let me demonstrate. I've got the soldier iron here, might as well demonstrate what happens. So if you try touching it, it you sometimes get the reading, correct reading, and other times, I mean, that's just completely wrong. It's and then if you move it to a different position, then you get a much higher reading and move it to other positions and you get weird readings. That's about the closest there. Um, actually, is that just actually going across the wires? No, it's very random. It really is random what you get. Which is a shame because it would be really handy being able to use this to test the uh, soldering tip temperature. Again, this is a solder tech made by Pace. This is the model ST45. I've owned the soldering iron for about 15 years now. I have a set of tweezers for this as well. So after I posted the first video, he says, Thanks, Joe. That last video shows it can be done. I can't tell by the video how is that thermocoupler attached to your iron. That must be the key. Trying to hand hold the thermocoupler to a rather small tip just does not make enough of a positive connection. 
So then I went ahead and made a second video where I used the paste with an even smaller tip. This is a model number 357. This is a 164th conical tip. And I decided to show them how I actually connected the probe. 